Hey folks, welcome to another Hero Press Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about the design library that's built into the Cadence WP theme. Now, to start off with a little transparency, I need to point out that I'm running the pro version of the theme because they gave it to me, because they believe in what Hero Press is doing. That said, this is not a paid video. Uh, I'm doing this one because my friend Birgit asked me to. So, Birgit, this one's for you. I'm here on a page for editing, and at the top, there's a button called the Design Library with the, the Cadence logo next to it. There are a few other plugins and themes that provide design libraries, so watch for the one with the K here. And when I click this, it brings up this modal, and these are similar to block patterns. These are uh, collections of blocks that can be dropped into uh, a theme or into a page or post. So I click all and it gives me more than you could ever imagine. But if we click on hero, then these are some things that could go at the top of your page um, or any place that needs a lot of attention. Then there are these cards. You can make columns of things media, counter, stats, and there's a whole bunch. You can see there's forms, gallery, accordion, etc. Now, the thing that sets this apart from just the regular block pattern library is that each of these is individually an iframe rendering using my personal themes settings. So you'll notice in the bottom left here, we have style and there's white, black, and blue. And I can click, and it changes the styles of these. Well, these are the colors that are set in my theme. So if we go to this other tab here, uh, this is the customizer, and I'm under the color section. There are some more of those colors, but it's the same general palette. But if I click this and say I choose this one, and I publish, We'll come back over here, and then I'm going to refresh the whole page. And it'll complain that I'm leaving, but that's okay. I don't care about that right now. And here we are with orange, black, and white for, for our options. That's not really black. It's more of a dark gray. In addition to the colors, it uses the fonts that are set. Uh, I'm not going to mess with them to show you, but if in the customizer, I'm going to reset my colors real quick. I could come in here and, and set all of my headers and all that kind of stuff. And then those would be reflected here as well. That doesn't happen with a regular block pattern. Uh, the block patterns are pretty well cemented. So to reiterate, this is similar to the block line or block pattern library, but each of these reflects the settings of your current theme and no other design library is going to do that. Really? Um, this is cadence theme tied in carefully with cadence blocks and they're going to work really, really well together. So if you are using Cadence WP, I strongly recommend you take a look at the design library. Uh, something that's cool to note, I'm looking at the post loop design. And these are actual posts. These are my posts, not placeholders or anything like that. So you can see what that looks like. I'm going to choose this one and just see what it looks like. There you go. That's pretty cool. I hope you find it useful too.